Yeah, I've so they've been like using this Oh, this is actually the first time we've ever done it. Like, it's the first time they've done it. But they're being more involved in this thing. I think it's a relative. Actually, I just before I signed up for this, I did. Yeah, they've tried to make it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to attach these right close to the ends such that you can yeah. have the space to hold the copper wire yeah. on top of the battery. Sweet. Was there anything with like electric wires or anything before? <laughs> I probably have up for you. <laughs> probably have just forgot about it. Yeah. Nope, I understand. I forgot about the stuff I didn't ask for. <laughs> so I think this is going to work. Science, explain me the science. Put this thing yeah, in between like the yeah, two like, holes, like right there. That's pretty cool. Would you like to hold the motor? Sure. Like that? Yeah. And then you place like the magnets like that. Right here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. See, there's like a positive end of the battery, negative end. So we'll go to the negative end of the positive end, and this is like all conductive material. So it's like a flow, which are like flow of electrons right now, going through like the whole thing from one side to the other. But like, why do you need the battery? Because without the battery there, you know, it's like it didn't do anything at all. So you need the battery there, because the bat or the, sorry, the magnet rather, yeah. So it creates a magnetic field, and when those electrons are going through. They're attracted to that magnetic, so it kind of like budges, right? And it's like since it's unequal, it's like lopsided. The certain spin, and because that it's so close there, you know, like continuous spin. So as long as there's like electrons going through from the battery, this thing will just continue to spin. Cool. Yeah, keep doing that. So right now, so there's like a lot of like even 